Oftentimes folks ask how they program their IQ3 dash, and they find it rather intimidating. And the truth of the matter is, it's a very simple procedure, because this is a very simple device. It's not intelligent, it does not know what to display or how until you tell it how to display whatever data you want to be able to see on the dash in your vehicle. And the thing is that the IQ3 dash has four screens or pages worth of data right here. You can toggle through these different screens and change the location of what data shows on the screen and that's completely customizable by you. It doesn't matter if you add sensors or decide not to display data from certain sensors. Again, it's all completely customizable. And don't be intimidated, it's a fairly simple process. This is how you do it. To change the inputs that appear on any page of an IQ3 display or logger, open the Data Link 2 software and then select File, Open Car Configuration from the main menu. Next, select the appropriate configuration file for your dash and click the OK button. In this example, we'll use the config file for the IQ3 data logger. Now that the configuration file is open, right-click over the IQ3 logger channel button. This action opens the LCD dash configuration page. Each image of the dash represents one of four screens or pages that are available for viewing as indicated by page 1, page 2, page 3, and page 4. To change what is displayed in any of the seven available areas on each screen, simply left-click the input button that is linked to a given area by the red line. Using the pull-down area, select the channel to be displayed, the number of digits to display past the decimal point, the averaging filter value, which will reduce the refreshing rate of the channel, which will make the data easier to view, and finally, type in the text that will describe the channel when displayed on the dash. In this case, we changed this input to GPS speed and called the channel MPH. This is the text that will appear above the channel value on the dash itself. Finally, select the OK button. Ensure that your PC is connected to your IQ3 using the RacePack programming cable and that the IQ3 is powered up. When all changes are complete, select the Send Configuration button. To change any of the four red LED warnings, select the Warnings tab at the top of the open window. Select the Warning box linked to the red LED you wish to change by left-clicking on the box. The Warning Input 1 setting window allows you to select the channel that will trigger the warning, in this case, Oil Pressure. So we will select Oil Pressure. Next, we would like the warning light to come on whenever oil pressure is below 10 pounds and above 75. In the Low Warning Limit area, we will enter 10, and in the High Warning Limit area, we will type 75. Since we want the warning to trigger when oil pressure is below 10 or above 75, we will select Channel Value is Outside Warning Limit window. If we wanted a warning to display when oil pressure is between 10 and 75, we would then select Channel Value is Inside Warning Limit window. Then, we will type the text message to be displayed when the warning is active, in this case, OIL. Warning Input 2 allows the user to select a second channel value that must be met along with Warning Input 1 before the warning is turned on. In this case, we would like the low OIL warning to turn on, but only if engine RPM is above 1500 RPM. This will prevent the warning from displaying every time the unit is powered on, given that the oil pressure will always be below 10 before the engine is started, which would trigger a warning. So let's select engine RPM for the warning channel, a low warning of 1500, and a high warning of 9000. Next, select channel value is inside warning limit window, and a channel tag of engine RPM. Finally, in the center of the programming window, let's instruct the warning light to turn on when warning input 1 and warning input 2 conditions are met. 
In this case, we want the driver to kill the engine if the warning appears, so we will type kill engine. This text will be displayed on the dash when the warning is triggered. The turn on external warning is checked when a secondary external warning light is wired to the external warning output of the IQ3 dash. Finally, select the OK button, then the send configuration button, and that completes our changes. Changing the shift lights is accomplished by selecting the shift light tab, ensuring the channel used for engine RPM is selected, and the desired shift points for each gear are entered. The shift light RPM interval is the value between each of the sequential shift lights. In this example, we changed the value to 200. If the shift point for every gear is 8,000, all shift lights will be lit at 8,000. Four lights will be lit at 7,800, three lights will be lit at 7,600, etc. Once all settings are completed, select the Send Configuration button, then the OK button. Refer to the IQ3 manual for details regarding gear calculation, slip calculation, and the dash info tab usage. Remember, save all changes using the save icon before closing your Data Link 2 software.